Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make this massive set of wind chimes. Let's get into it. Before you start building your wind chimes, I highly recommend you visit a site called lehight.org. This guy goes over every aspect of wind chimes, everything from the types of materials that you can use and why, to the different sizes. He even goes over the different musical notes that you'll achieve based on the dimensions of your chimes. That's where I got all the different dimensions for my chimes, so I was able to put in the dimensions I wanted to use and get the notes that they would carry so that I could match them up properly and get the right number of chimes. He also has printable uh, templates for the top and bottom pieces of wood that you're going to need. It's a very useful site and so I would start there. This project was inspired by some chain link fence poles that I found up in the rafters of my shop. The tricky part was getting them down. After trying a few techniques, I found that the best way to cut these poles is with my chop saw. It makes a nice, smooth, clean cut as long as I go nice and slow. I made sure to sand the end of each pole to get rid of any sharp burrs. I sanded these poles first, but they don't need to be perfect because I do plan on painting them. Attaching the string to the chimes is a little hard to see by the video, so I'll give you a quick breakdown. I am using 20 pound clear picture hanging string that I picked up at the local hardware store. I doubled it up and put a loop at one end. Then I slid that string down the chime and took a piece of crafting wire, which I also doubled up and stuck through the hole that I drilled, trying to get into the middle of the loop of the string. Some of the chimes that had the hole further down took a little bit longer than others, but eventually I got all five of them to work. Once I got the wire through both holes and through the loop in the string, I would hold the wire and pull the string to bend the wire to make a nice V. That'll hold the string in the center of each chime. The supporting piece of wood that all the chimes are going to hang off of along with the clacker or clanger or thunker whatever you want to call it that hangs and hits all the chimes uh, i just put in the dimensions of the chimes that i had into the lehight.org website and i got this template that i can use that shows where to put each chime and also shows multiple versions of a clacker or clanger that i can cut out this is what i'm going to use for my wood pieces Do you have any good ideas for some unconventional items you can use to make a set of chimes? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. After Christina put a coat of stain and polyurethane on the pieces of wood, it was time for assembly.
I used some small chain to hang the set of chimes from. The final piece that we need for our wind chimes is a wind sail. This will go under the clacker or clanger or whatever and to catch a little bit of the breeze. I made mine out of plexiglass, but you can also make it out of wood. All right, our wind chimes are finished and I'm really pleased with the end result. Probably the only thing that I would change is I would probably make the wind sail out of something a little bit heavier so that it will uh, catch a little bit more wind and swing some more. Right now it's just on this light string, it's super light so it doesn't move the whole thing as much as I would like it to. But other than that, everything turned out great and it actually sounds really cool. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have tons of other projects on our channel, so make sure to check those out, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.